This week has all been about the growing anger around banks rewarding their top staff and bosses millions and billions in bonuses and pay, despite the banks still behaving badly. Barclays faces a strong shareholder backlash after the group boosted bonuses despite a drop in profits and a spate of mis-selling scandals which have already cost the bank billions of pounds in compensation payouts. Meanwhile, Lloyds revealed it will cap 35,000 staff pensions despite paying its chief executive £8 million in salary and bonuses. Elsewhere, despite the co-op having £1.5 billion missing from their balance sheets, and its former chairman Paul Flowers being embroiled in a sex and illegal drug scandal, it plans to triple its CEO's pay. However, any anger may quickly dissipate as Ewan Sutherland announced his shock resignation only a day after defending his pay on Facebook. But it's not just about hefty UK bank bonuses. According to the latest data in the US, Wall Street Bank has raked in 15% more in bonuses over the last year compared to 2012. In a statement, the New York Comptroller said the average award is the largest average bonus for Wall Street employees since the 2008 financial crisis and the third highest on record. Thanks for tuning in to this week's current account and for more business and financial news, check out ibtimes.co.uk.